Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to walk through the disk analysis and autopsy room from tryhackme.com. We will utilize the tool called autopsy, which is a disk analysis tool used in uh, forensic investigations. And we, I already ran the machine, started the machine, and we are gonna answer the questions asked on the left hand side so for starting like what is the image hash value that's very important uh, when you're working with a case the hash value of the data or the data set is very important so that you didn't modify anything while you're working with it let me start the autopsy and let me just investigate and look the case files okay i opened the case files and i can see there is a EO1 file, I guess this is the disk, and there is a autopsy database file. So autopsy is an open source uh, disk forensics tool. Uh, it helps in the investigations. So rather than uh, looking at the bits and bytes of the disk, uh, you can just utilize autopsy and look at the recent documents, recent uh, processes or some of the important uh, file paths and maybe registry okay I will open a case since there's already a case file so I will go desktop and then case files I click try hack me that out file because it's looking for the autopsy case file let me open it and it will import the database here autopsy database file it will take time okay while uh, importing it will create an error or something like warning missing image uh, click yes and then we will uh, direct this to the Hassan 2 that uh, a, a a01 file here okay we just go to desktop case files and then the disk image that we want for select image and it's imported or importing right now let's also read our first question what is the md5 hash of the e01 image so to learn this click data sources and it will list the data source here. We have Hassan2.e01. Uh, we can see what is the type, the size in bytes and sector size and all that information. When I click it, it will also give me other details. Let me just make it like a whole screen. Okay, let me just go to file metadata and now we get the md5 hash value of the image let's see I can copy paste great so the next question is the what is the computer account name where can we learn this we can learn with uh, operating system information a system and then file metadata so operating system information, click that one, and then let's click the system, and then we go to file metadata. I guess there is a desktop. Okay, I guess that's our value, desktop slash zero r five nine d j three. Let's copy and let's hope for the best. Yes, that is correct. Moving on to question three. Uh, list all the user accounts so we'll go through the operating system user account I guess and we will see there are a lot of users but most of them are created by default like local service network service Windows uh, blah blah utility account so the accounts that we are interested in these ones so Kesha, Sivapriya, Sandhya, Esrini Hassan, Joshua, and Suba, and I guess the Shreya. Let me just click the username and then it will list based on the alphabetical order, so it helps. H4, S4, and Suba. 
Okay, that's our correct answer. So the next question is, who was the last user to log into the computer? So in the same field, we see data created, data accessed. Let me just click this one. Um, what was the last user to log into computer? The last one, according to the data, I guess this is Siva Priya. Okay, that's an easy question. And what was the IP address of the computer? Let's learn this from the data sources again. And then the uh, image. Let's click the uh, Hassan2.e01, which will list the walls located. And we are interested in wall 3. NTFS XFAT, that's where our main drive is located. Let me just click that one. And here we are interested in pro program files X84, 86, and then the LAN, uh, look at LAN, this folder. Let me just click that one as well. And I guess here we will find our IP configuration or IP address. If you look at the I run in uni. Okay, we see an IP address. Hassan, LAN user and the LAN IP 192.168.130.216. Okay, let me put it here. 192.168.130.216. Is that it? Okay. Okay, so coming on to the next question, what was the MAC address of the computer? Uh, the next line gives us the LAN NIC. So here we add dashes between the uh, numbers and symbols here. So let me, if I can copy, copy this one, and then just add dash between each hexadecimal value and we are in good hands. The next question, what is the name of the network card on this computer? Okay, so uh, in this question, what is the name of the network card on this computer? Uh, so in my case, Autopsy uh, doesn't open the software hive on the application here, or I don't know how to do it. I really don't care because I know another way, which is to open the Reg Ripper report from the case files, module output, recent activity, and then reg. And then we will open the uh, software reg ripper uh, 179465-full file. And in that file, we are gonna search for network cards, which will lead us to the adapter name, Intel R Pro slash 1000 MT net, net, uh, network adapter. Submit that. What is the name of the network monitoring tool? Okay. So for the network monitoring tool, we sort of used it in the early questions, which is the wall three. And then we went for the program files, but instead of the LAN manager, we went for the look at LAN. This is actually the program for the uh, network managing look at LAN. The next one, a user bookmarked a Google Maps location. What is the coordinates of the location? So to find that, let's go to web bookmarks. And I guess we will find it from here. So we are searching for Google Maps location. So that means we are looking at a URL that has g.maps, something like that, right? Okay, Google com maps place there is only one entry that has maps and it is asking for the coordinates i guess i'll just copy let me make this one bigger okay if there is a text that will be better of course interested in this coordinate let me copy that 
Um, let's see if it works. Wonderful. A user has is has his full name printed printed on his desktop wallpaper. What is the user's full name? So for this question, let's go to images and videos. So let's just uh, let's look at the users. So there's only one image. And let's look at Hassan folder. There are two images wallpapers and then some jpg image has its full name okay so in the image we are looking to get like h4s4n okay if our application doesn't open then it doesn't open go to download it doesn't read as well okay for this question i guess there is something wrong because normally it should show us the uh, file image with this weaver as I googled it and learned from the other guys on the internet that uh, has written some walkthroughs it should look like this one so we should see the image but in our example it didn't show us that is the reason so for the answer the answer is Joshua Anto Joshua. A user had a file on her desktop. It had a flag, but she changed the flag using PowerShell. What was the first flag? So I guess we are interested in PowerShell logs. And let me just close the image and video gallery and go back to the autopsy. Let's go to users on the wall three again. Review every uh, user's PowerShell history by going to user and then app data roaming Microsoft Windows. Okay, for let's start from the Hassan and then application data. I guess Microsoft and Windows PowerShell PS read line okay we have a console history and in this one there is just ls so we need to do it for the for every user okay let's jump to the user called Shreya because uh, I've gone through all the users and Let's go to the uh, Shreya and then App Data, Roaming, Microsoft, Windows, PowerShell, and then in the PS Read line, we'll see that on the console host, uh, she created uh, she created a flag, which is flag Harlequin for Queen. Interesting flag. Let's submit that. The same user found an exploit to ex escalate privileges on the computer. What was the message to the device owner? So let's go to Shreya's uh, profile again and let's go to desktop. And we can see there's an exploit.ps1 uh, file. There should be a flag that says flag I hacked you. Okay, I guess that's the answer. Two hack tools focused on passwords were found in the system. What were what are the names of these tools? So when it comes to password dumping or first thing that comes to my mind is the Mimikatz. In most cases, we will see that the uh, files are in the downloads folder. Okay, two hack tools focused on passwords were found in the system. It doesn't tell this, uh, tell us that it's in the Shreya. It's in the Hassan. Let's go to Hassan's profile and let's go to the downloads. And we can immediately see there is a Mimikatz. So the first, so the first program that we see is the Mimikatz. And then the second one will be in the Windows prep prefetch file. Let's Look up for the prefetch. Okay, let me make it bigger. 
and we can see on that line lasagne that exe for password so it will be lasagne and then mimikets There is a Yara file on the computer, inspect the file, what's the name of the author? So we should look for a file that has an extension as Yar. We can just say, hey, find me anything that has that Yar. And let's search it. Okay, what we are interested in is this file, kiwi passwords yar.link and is there another file this is a link file but it tells me that hey there's a file called kiwi passwords.yar and what is the name of the author okay okay if we go to file metadata okay so since this is associated with the mimikets let's go back to the desktop and all three users some then downloads so the file is located in mimikatz trunk that zip and if i click over we will see that the author of this file is benjamin delphi let's just copy this answer copy and let's see is okay one of the users wanted to wanted to exploit the domain control with an MSN RPC based exploit. What is the file name of the archive that you found? Include the spaces in your answers. Okay, for this one, we are going to investigate in recent documents. So let's look at the download link and then we are looking for something suspicious. So Okay, here is a interesting file two that to space to twenty twenty. It looks like a CVE, so zero logon encrypted dot link file, which is located in C users Sandia downloads. Okay, I guess the question is just ask us to. Uh, Give the file name. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, it might be the zip extension. Okay, congratulations. It is not an easy, it's not an easy room to uh, get and find all the answers. I also got some help from the internet because uh, some of the applications that are running uh, on other guys' virtual machines are not running on my autopsy machine uh, pro provided by TryHackMe. I don't know what's, why it happens, but if you have any questions, uh, comment on the YouTube video. And if you like this content, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.